Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang alternative solution of exact differential equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung alternative solution of exact differential equations. So, di ba ay meron na akong naunang video for exact differential equations. At sinolve natin yon, kung mapapansin nyo, napakahaba ng process. So, ngayon ay ituturo ko sa inyo yung mas madaling process kapag magsasolve tayo ng exact DE. Okay? So, meron tayong tura sa susundin para mag-solve ng alternative solution of exact DE. So, we have theorem 1. If the differential equation m of x, comma y dx plus n of x, comma y dy equal 0 is exact, then for any value of constant c, the solution will be integral of m of t, comma y dt from a to x plus integral of n of a, comma t dt from b to y equal c. Okay, so ito yung direct formula na gagamitin natin para mag-solve tayo ng exact DE once na ma-verify natin na exact nga yung DE. So gagamitin natin dito yung test na partial derivative of M with respect to Y dapat equal siya sa partial derivative of N with respect to X. Pagtapos natin ma-verify, didiretso agad tayo dito sa formula na to. Okay? So just a matter of integration and substitution of variable with T. Okay, meron mamaya illustrate ko sa inyo. Next, meron din tayong theorem 2. If M and N and their first partial derivatives are polynomial or continuous at any convenient constant, then let A and B equal to 0, that absolute value constant such that integral of M of T, comma Y DT from 0 to X plus integral ng N of 0, comma T DT from 0 to Y equal C. Okay, kung polynomial daw or continuous yung ating m at n at yung first partial derivative nila, then pwede nating i-revise itong formula. So, di ba meron tayong a at b dito? Pwede nyo gawin, i-substitute nyo doon sa a at b ay 0 para mas madali. Kasi ibig sabihin kapag sinasitin na 0 yung a at b, cancel agad sila doon sa formula. So, take note of the condition lang na dapat yung m at n at yung first partial derivative nila are polynomial or continuous at any convenient constant. So, para mas mapadali at mas para mas mapadali yung pagsasolve nyo nung integral. Okay, so mamaya illustrate natin kung paano ba gamitin itong dalawang theorems na to. Okay? So, para may illustrate, let's solve some examples. For the first example, we have find the solution of the following DE. First, we have y squared minus 2xy plus 6x dx minus x squared minus 2xy plus 2dy equal 0. Okay, so, therefore, yung m of x, kama y natin dito, ay yung nakamultiply sa dx, which is this function. Yung y squared minus 2xy plus 6x. And then, itong n of x, kama y natin, ay itong function na nakamultiply sa dy. So, dahil meron tayong negative, i-distribute natin to. Magiging negative x squared plus 2xy minus 2. So, i-verify muna natin na exact itong DE by finding out dapat na yung partial derivative of M with respect to Y ay equal sa partial derivative of N with respect to X. So, hanapin muna natin yung partial derivative of M with respect to Y. So, i-differentiate natin yung M with respect to Y tapos magiging constant si X. So, anong partial derivative nito? Anong derivative ng Y squared? 2Y and then itong negative 2xy, itong negative 2x constant, sa so gigilid ko lang, derivative ng y is 1. And then plus, derivative nitong 6x, del x is constant, derivative nun ay 0. So therefore, we have 2y minus 2x. Then dito naman sa partial derivative of n with respect to x, constant naman si y, mag-differentiate tayo with respect to x. So anong partial derivative nito? Itong negative x squared, derivative niyan is negative 2x plus itong 2y dahil constant, igigilid natin, derivative lang natin si x, we have 
derivative ng x is 1. Minus 2, derivative ng 2 is constant, so we have minus 0. So, therefore, we have negative 2x plus 2y, or balik na rin natin, 2y minus 2x, which is equal dito sa partial derivative of m with respect to y. So, therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, the DE is exact. Okay, so since na-verify na natin na yung DE ay exact, so, pwede na natin i-apply yung theorem 1 na integral ng m of t, comma y, dt, from a to x, plus integral ng n of a, comma t, dt, from b to y equal c. So, ibig sabihin nito, dito sa m of x, kama y natin, papalitan natin itong x ng t, tapos yung y as is pa rin. Tapos, evaluate natin yung integral with respect to t from a to x. Okay? And then, dito naman sa n of a, kama t, yung n of x, kama y natin, papalitan natin yung x ng a, and then yung t ng y, Integrate pa rin natin with respect to t from b to y, yung lower and upper limit, and then equal sa c. So, try natin. So, di ba yung m of x, kama y natin ay itong y squared minus 2xy plus 6. y squared minus 2xy plus 6. m of x, kama y. Tapos itong n of x, kama y natin ay negative x squared negative x squared plus 2xy minus 2. Ito yon. So, plus 6x pala itong m of x comma y. So, papalitan natin muna itong x ng t. So, magiging y squared minus 2ty plus 6t. Dito naman sa n of x comma y, papalitan natin yung x ng a. So, magiging negative a squared plus 2. Yung x gagawin natin a. Yung y naman, gagawin natin t minus 2. And then, tsaka natin, evaluate yung integral with respect to t. So, we have integral ng y squared minus 2ty plus 6t dt from a to x plus integral ng negative a squared plus 2at minus 2 dt from b to y then equal sa c. So, ibig sabihin, mag-i-integrate tayo with respect to t. Constant dito si y. So, integrate na natin. Integral ng y squared dt is, since constant si y, copy lang si y squared, then integral ng dt is t. Minus, integral ng 2ty, so copy lang natin si 2y, kasi constant siya, integrate lang natin tong t, we have power formula t squared over 2. Plus, integral ng 6t, is 6 times, integral ng t is t squared over 2. Okay? Then, evaluated from a to x. Plus, ito naman yung integral ng negative a squared dt. So, with respect to t pa rin, so constant si negative a squared. So, copy lang. So, negative a squared, then integral ng dt is simply t. Plus, Integral ng 2at dt is yung 2a constant, copy lang. Integrate natin tong t, we have t squared over 2, power formula. Then, integral ng negative 2 dt is negative 2 t lang. Okay? Then, evaluated from b to y naman. Equal c. Okay? Then, evaluate na natin. So, papalitan muna natin itong mga terms ng x minus, papalitan ulit natin itong mga terms this time ng a. So, dito muna tayo sa upper limit. So, palitan natin yung mga t ng x. So, we have y squared x minus 2y x squared over 2 plus 6 x squared over 2 minus papalitan naman natin yung t ng a. So, we have y squared a minus 2y a squared over 2 plus 6 a squared over 2. Okay? Then, dito rin sa side na to. We have, papalitan muna natin yung mga t, this time ng y, minus papalitan ulit natin itong mga t ng lower limit na b. So, dumuntay sa y. So, we have 
plus negative a squared y plus 2a y squared over 2 minus 2y minus, this time mapalitan naman natin yung mga t ng b. So, negative a squared b plus 2a b squared over 2 minus 2b equals c. Simplify. We have, ito pagbalikan ko na lang, xy squared. Then ito, cancel c2, magiging negative x squared y. Plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 times x squared is 3x squared. Then, minus, distribute ko tong negative sign, magiging ay squared negative. Tapos ito magiging positive, cancel c2. A squared y and then ito magiging negative 6 divided by 2 is 3 A squared plus simplify ko rin to magiging so minus na to minus A squared y ito cancel yun to magiging plus A y squared and then ito minus 2 y and then ito naman distribute ko ulit itong mga negative and simplify magiging plus A squared b Minus cancel si 2 AB squared plus 2B equals C. So, combine natin yung similar terms. So, we have XY squared minus X squared Y plus 3X squared. So, may makakancel bar, combine. So, eto cancel. Eto cancel. Tapos eto wala. So, copy minus 2y. And then, yung mga natira, puro mga constant na lang. etong negative 3a squared plus a squared b minus ab squared plus 2b equals c. So, yung mga constant, ilipat ko lahat dito sa right side. So, xy squared minus x squared y plus 3x squared minus 2y is equal to c plus 3a squared minus a squared b plus ab squared minus 2b. Okay? And then, itong right side natin, since mga constant naman lahat yan, yung c, yung a, tsaka b, pwede natin i-represent yan as simple constant c sub 1 where it is equal to c plus 3a squared minus a squared b plus ab squared minus 2b. So, therefore, pwede natin i-substitute itong C sub 1 dito as xy squared minus x squared y plus 3x squared minus 2y equal C sub 1. So, therefore, ito yung solution natin. Okay? Next, we have 3y times quantity x squared minus 1 dx plus x cubed plus 8y minus 3x dy equal 0. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Okay, so meron tayong particular solution dito. Kasi meron tayong condition na when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Okay, so verify muna natin kung exact ba itong DE. So yung m of x, kama y natin, ay itong nakamultiply dito sa dx, which is yung 3y times quantity x squared minus 1. So distribute ko tong 3y, magiging... 3x squared y minus 3y. Tapos yung n of x, kama y natin, yung function na nakamultiply sa dy, which is this, yung x cubed plus 8y minus 3x. Okay? So, prove natin na yung partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, yung partial derivative of m with respect to y, constant si x, differentiate natin with respect to y, we have Itong 3x squared, constant, so copy lang natin, and then differentiate natin yung y, equal yon sa 1. Minus, derivative ng 3y is 3. So, therefore, we have 3x squared minus 3. And then, ito namang partial derivative of n with respect to x, we have constant naman si y, differentiate natin with respect to x. So, derivative ng x cubed is 3x squared. Itong derivative ng 8y is 0. And then, derivative ng negative 3x is negative 3. So, we have 3x squared minus 3. So, therefore, equal yung partial derivative of m with respect to y sa partial derivative of n with respect to x. The DE is exact. Okay? Now, mapapansin nyo yung 
given expression natin sa m of x, y tsaka sa n of x, y pareho silang polynomial at continue sila everywhere as well as yung first partial derivative ng m with respect to y at yung at yung first partial derivative of n with respect to x ay also polynomial din. So, therefore, pwede natin i-apply yung theorem 2 kasi nasatisfy nga yung restrictions. Yung integral ng m of t, y dt from 0 to x plus integral ng n of 0, t dt from 0 to y equal c. Para mas madali yung pagsasolve natin. Okay, so try natin. So, dun muna sa m of x, y, yung x ulit, papalitan natin ng t, yung y as is. Tapos, dito naman sa n of x, y, yung x this time, papalitan natin ng 0. Tapos, yung y, papalitan ulit natin ng t. So, ang nabago ay yung lower limit, yung a naging 0, yung b naging 0 din. Okay, so try natin. So, we have, pag pinalitan natin ng t, so, yung m of x, y natin uli ay ano ba? Ito yan, di ba? 3x squared y minus 3y. Tapos yung n of x, y natin, ito yan, yung x cubed plus 8y minus 3x. So, palitan natin yung m of x, y ng m of t, y. Yung x palitan natin ng t. So, we have 3t squared y minus 3y. Tapos itong n of x, y, palitan natin yung x ng 0 tapos yung y ng t. So, we have 0 cubed plus 8t minus 3 times 0. So, parang ano na lang to. 8t na lang. Okay? So, therefore, we have 3t squared y minus 3y integral with respect to dt from 0 to x plus integral nitong n of 0 kama t which is 8t na lang with respect to dt pa rin from 0 to y equal c. Okay, so evaluate natin yung integral with respect to t. So, constant dito si y. So, parang integral ng, 3, integral ng 3t squared y is yung 3y, itabi ko lang, integrate lang natin tong t squared, power formula is t cubed over 3. Minus, integral nitong 3y dt is yung 3y constant, so integral lang natin bali yung dt, which is t pa rin. Then, evaluate from 0 to x. Plus, ito naman, 80 dt, integral nun is... 8t squared over 2. Power formula lang. Evaluated from 0 to y equals c. Okay, so evaluate natin yung lower and upper limit. So, substitute natin tong x minus substitute natin tong 0 dito sa expression. So, we have sa x muna. 3y, palitan nga natin yung t ng x this time. So, magiging 3y x cubed over 3 minus 3y yung t gawin natin x. Minus. So, mapapansin nyo, pag sinapsitin natin itong 0 dito sa bawat expression, equal pa rin siya sa 0 kasi nakamultiply tayo sa t, ba? Diba? So, therefore, we have 0 minus 0. So, parang wala na. And then, dito rin sa plus 80 squared over 2, sapsitin naman natin itong upper limit muna na y dun sa t. So, parang 8y squared over 2 minus And then, pag sinasunod naman ulit natin itong 0, dito sa 80 squared over 2, 0 pa rin. Kasi nakamultiply siya sa 0. Equal C. So, therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. Simplify na lang natin. Cancel si 3 dito, magiging x cube y. Ito magiging 3xy. Tapos itong plus 8 divided by 2 is 4y squared. Then, equal C. Okay? Tapos, meron tayong condition na... When x is 0, y is equal to 1. So, masasolve natin si C. Substitute natin yung when x is 0, y is equal to 1. So, 0 cube times y na 1 minus 3 times x na 0 times y na 1 plus 4 times 1 squared equal C. So, ito ay 0. Matitira ay 4 1 squared or simply 4 is equal to C. So, therefore, our final answer is we have the particular solution x cube y minus 3 xy plus 4y squared equals c na compute natin na 4. Okay? Next, we have quantity y e raised to xy minus 2y cubed dx plus quantity x e raised to xy minus 6xy squared minus 2y dy is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. 
Okay, so meron ulit tayong particular solution dito. When x is 0, y is equal to 2. Okay, so yung m of x, kamaway natin uli ay itong function na to yung nakamultiply sa dx which is y e raised to xy minus 2y cubed. And then yung n of x, kamaway natin which is yung function na nakamultiply sa dy itong x e raised to xy minus 6 xy squared minus 2y. So, prove uli natin na yung partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal sa partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, partial derivative of m with respect to y is constant sa x, differentiate with y we have product rule kasi meron tayong product ng y sa e raised to xy. So, let's say yung first function natin na itong e raised to xy. So, copy muna si e raised to xy, then differentiate natin itong y which is 1 lang. Plus, this time, derivative naman netong e raised to xy, tapos itong y, copy muna natin. So, times, derivative netong e raised to xy is chain rule. So, we have e raised to xy times, derivative pa netong exponent, considering na constant si x. So, we have x times derivative ng y is 1. Okay? Minus, derivative netong 2y cube is power formula 6y squared. Okay? So, simplify natin. We have e raised to xy plus xy e raised to xy minus 6y squared. Okay? Then, doon naman tayo sa partial derivative of n with respect to x. Constant si y, differentiate natin with respect to x. So, dito muna sa x e raised to xy. Derivative niyan, gigamit ulit tayo ng product rule. So, let's say yung first function natin ay ito munang e raised to xy. So, copy muna times derivative ng x. So, equal yun sa 1. Plus, this time, copy naman natin itong x times derivative nitong e raised to xy. e raised to xy times derivative ng xy considering this time na constant si y. So, we have y times derivative ng x which is 1. Okay? And then, ito namang negative 6xy squared. We have itong negative 6y squared constant. Igilid ko lang. So, i-differentiate natin itong x. We have derivative ng x is simply 1 minus derivative nitong 2y dahil constant siya 0. So, we have e raised to xy plus simplify xy e raised to xy minus 6y squared. So, therefore, pareho sila, ba? So, therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, the DE is exact. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, yung m of x comma y natin, tsaka yung n of x comma y natin, continue siya doon sa 0. Right? Tawin na nang apply ngayon yung Churem 1 or Churem 2. So, apply na lang natin yung Churem 2 para mas madali. Yung integral ng m of t, comma y dt from 0 to x plus integral ng n of 0, comma t dt from 0 to y equals c. Okay, so yung m of x, comma y natin is itong y e raised to x, y minus 2y cubed. So, we have y e raised to x, y minus 2y cubed. And then, itong n of x, comma y natin ay itong quantity na to. So, x e raised to x, y minus 6x, y squared minus 2y. So, we have x e raised to x, y minus 6x, y squared minus 2y. So, papalitan natin yung x ng t tapos yung y as is. So, parang magiging ganito y e raised to ty minus 2y cubed. Tapos itong n of x, kama y, gagawin natin, papalitan natin itong x ng 0, tapos itong y ng t. So, parang x is 0, e raised to x is 0, times y, papalitan natin ng t, minus 6, x is 0 ole times y, papalitan natin ng t. So, t squared minus 2, y, gagawin natin t. So, therefore, we have ito 0, ito 0, negative 2 t na lang. So, therefore, evaluate natin yung integral. So, we have integral ng, ito na yun, ba Yung y e raised to ty minus 2y cubed tt from 0 to x plus integral ng negative 2t na lang dt from 0 to y equals c. 
Okay, so evaluate natin with respect to t yung integral. So, constant dito si y uli. So, we have integral ng y e raise to ty. So, yung y nakagilid lang. Integrate lang natin tong e raise to ty. Ano integral ng e raise to ty dt? So, di ba yung y, constant siya. So, kapag meron kayong e raise to ty, automatically yung numerical coefficient niya na y magiging denominator. Then, copy nyo lang yung e raise to ty. So, integral niyan is y times 1 over y e raise to ty. Okay? Minus, integral ng 2y cube is constant lang si y. So, parang 2y cube, lalagyan nyo lang ng t. Okay? Evaluated from 0 to x. Plus, the same integral ng negative 2, t dt is negative 2 t squared over 2, then evaluated from 0 to y, equals c. So, evaluate natin. So, substitute natin yung x dito sa t, and then minus, substitute natin itong 0 sa t. So, we have, eto cancel, so parang ano na lang yan, e raise to t, gagawin natin x, so xy minus 2y cubed, Gagawin nyo natin x yung t times x minus, this time yung 0 sa substitute natin sa t, we have e raised to 0 times y minus 2y cubed t gawin natin 0. Okay? Plus, ito namang negative 2t squared over 2, cancel si 2, magiging negative t squared na lang. Substitute natin tong y, magiging negative y squared and then minus 0 naman substitute natin, we have 0 squared equals C. Okay? So, therefore, we have simplifying further. E raised to xy minus 2xy cube. Ito, E raised to 0 is, ito parang E raised to 0 times y or 0. E raised to 0 is 1. So, parang magiging minus 1. And then ito, 0. So, cancel na lang. And then, itong plus negative y squared minus y squared. And then, 0 na lang. So, wala na. Then, equated to C. Makamansin nyo, meron tayong constant na 1 dito. So, pwede itong ma-absorb ng constant natin dito na C. So, parang e raised to xy minus 2xy cubed minus y squared is equal to C plus 1. So, i-represent na lang natin tong C plus 1 as single C sub y. So, equal yan sa C plus 1. So, meron tayong e raised to xy minus 2xy cube minus y squared is equal to C sub 1. Tapos, meron tayong condition, di ba, yung when x is 0, y is equal to 2. So, substitute natin yung x na 0 tsaka y na 2 dito para masolve si C sub 1. So, we have e raised to x is 0 y is 2 minus 2 times x is 0. So, y is 2. So, we have 2 cubed minus y is 2 less. So, we have 2 squared equals c sub 1. So, ito, e raised to 0 or 1 minus ito, 0 minus 2 squared or 4 equals c sub 1. So, therefore, we have 1 minus 0 minus 4 is negative 3 equals c sub 1. So, C sub 1 equals negative 3. So, substitute natin dito sa final answer. So, we have E raised to xy minus 2xy cubed minus y squared is equal to negative 3. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? So, that's it for the alternative solution for exact differential equation. So, Mababansin nyo, mas madali yung solution natin kapag ganito kasi direct substitution lang tayo doon sa integral. Unlike doon sa usual way of solving exact D, medyo mahaba. So, it's up to you kung anong mas gusto nyong gamitin. Kung itong alternative solution o yung standard way of solving exact D yung gusto nyo. Okay? So, practice lang kayo palagi mag-solve para mas maging madali sa inyo itong exact D. Okay? So, Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.